just do a couple of tips. How do I get in shape as a white belt? Oh, so that's a right. Uh, uh, so, okay, check us out. Here's the way I look at it. You have, you have layers to this thing, right? First thing is rolling. Rolling is the most important layer. You got to roll. That's, that's number one. You get better for jiu-jitsu shape by rolling. Second, if your rolling is good and you're rolling, diet needs to be good. Trust me, if you get into, if you start eating a decent diet, you will feel much better. Now, I'm not going to be on the bandwagon of saying you need to eat this way or that way. All I'm saying is eat foods that you have to prepare from like whole ingredients, right? Whether that means you want to go keto or like have like a lot of carbohydrates like me or whatever, that's up to you. But eat a decent diet, make a big difference. Drink lots of water too. Next, you got the diet, you got the rolling. Now we're looking at things like, stuff you can do off the mat. Next thing I think to throw into the mix is strength training. Strength training is very important. I know people will fight me on this because they'll picture a giant bodybuilder who has massive amounts of hypertrophy, but typically a stronger muscle doesn't exhaust as fast. You can think about this as people lifting weights. If you can, if you can do say like pull-ups with, you know, 45 pounds of weight hanging under you for 15 reps, your body weight's going to be even even easier, right? And you're going to be able to, those muscles are going to have a little bit more endurance to them. Same thing for your rolling. Um, as those muscles are being used with strength training and they're stronger, they don't putter out as fast. As you're, as long as you're rolling at the same time and learning how to use that strength properly. And the last thing would be, and this is just, I'm keeping this simple for you. I could go, dude, I'm telling you right now, because I did a video recently where I was talking about how to like, it was actually on the subject about getting better cardio as a white belt. And you know, everybody wants this magical secret and there really is no magical secret. Now there's all kinds of weird training modalities that you can implement, but it's the, it's the basics, man. It's the fundamentals, like train your jujitsu, eat a decent diet, lift some weights. And then for me, one of the things that's always been helpful if I'm trying to get in, in good shape is steady state cardio. That means like going for a jog, going for a run, hill, doing some hill uh, trail runs, getting on your bike and riding. Um, it may not be the most fun thing. And I, I, some people will say hit training. I'm not a big fan of hit training personally. I think it just, it's a little bit too much from the system. If you're trying to roll and especially if rolling is still difficult to you, which I imagine is as a white belt, mm -hmm. I think it's too much high intensity training. Whereas if you do a moderate intensity on just like a light bike ride or something like that, and just getting your body used to that, uh, strengthening that heart and making it more efficient, I think it's a beautiful thing to do. So those would be the four that I would give you, man. And, 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 and in that order of importance to me, you know, basically the rolling, the diet, lifting weights, and then you're getting into some additional cardio if, if that's what you want to do. Yeah. I mean, I agree. And finding the right frequency for yourself too. Like how many, you know, what's good for you? How hard are you overtraining initially? Like you said, you don't like the hit training because, um, I like hit training, but it depends on where you're at, how much you train, but also it's neurologically, it's not just physically, That's it's neurologically it's your taxing too. Get wore out. It screws with your, like your, your whole, how your body functions. So you got to allow for recovery. And if jujitsu is on... already intense to you, exactly. like if, if jujitsu is intense to you and you're lifting weights and then you throw the hit on top of that, mm -hmm. you can just fry your, yeah, you're, you're just going to feel flat and yeah. you're going to feel tired. So like, I think find that frequency. And like you said, I've always enjoyed like a, you build like a baseline cardio too. So mm -hmm. if you can't, you know, if you can't get to the gym as much as you want, maybe do some drilling, try to mm -hmm. simulate doing some, some solo drills. I mean, you could use a heavy bag. You don't need a grappling dummy as simple as a heavy bag, or even like a big exercise ball. You can you do know, those for some can, passing drills. And even with that, like there's some really good stuff out there. Cameron Haynes has got one. My buddy Ryan's got one at GMB, uh, gold medal bodies. They do like just movement. Yeah. Like it's not specific to jujitsu, but it's good movement. It's 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 great exercise, and you're developing good muscular um, neuromuscular control, and it's really good stuff. And so again, to me, I, this is just me. I'd, I'd say screw the the solo drills all the time, unless you're unless you're already rolling a lot. I would say go do some just these different movements to like develop different skills and flexibility and other movements that can then contribute. Because I promise you, when you roll with like, for instance, I've rolled with like gymnast white belt gymnasts and when they come in yeah they're friggin they're they have such good control of their bodies they're a handful to deal with even on that level that low level because they've got such good body control and so i think it's an important thing so i think yeah. even doing something like that or even swimming is great too for cardio and it, 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 you're training with breath too because you have to breathe sure. while you're doing it so there's a lot of cool cool examples but a lot of times they're very simple very simple ideas yeah the breath's a great point because the breathing like um 
I'll, I'll do uh, when I got my road bike, mm -hmm. I started just focusing on like how hard can I push myself with just breathing in my nose in and out of my nose only. Cause that's like, if you listen to like somebody like Brian McKenzie talks about, you have gears mm -hmm. in breathing, you know, in your nose, out your nose, then in your nose, out your mouth and in your mouth, out your mouth. So those that's, there's a lot more gears yeah, than yeah. that, but that's kind of, so if you can control your breath, and you know find that pace and kind of increase it so he had recommended on when he was on the podcast try to train try to actually roll mm -hmm. this is probably for more upper belts but try to roll just breathing in and out your nose i do for the most part until, yeah. I, until I get into a really until hard get, roll yeah. exactly until you got to push it and then like i'll try to push it and then i'll slow it back down i'll try to focus back on the in, in the nose out the nose well i've been training like with my breath doing like just nasal breathing almost all the time mm -hmm. it feels very weird now to breathe in my mouth mm -hmm. like it feels that that feels really it's weird inefficient to too it yeah. just feels very strange to take a deep breath in through my mouth it's like <sighs> that no that good nasal just nose yep. breathing that's just yep. it feels it feels so weird to breathe through my mouth now <laughs> all right <laughs>